Yo guys, Speed E here with another Pocket Planes video. Thank you for all the comments and support on the previous video. I'll be picking a winner for the Concord part at the end of the week, and also be doing more part giveaways in the future, so stay tuned. I've also been getting a lot of requests for more beginner tutorial content, so over the weekend I started a new account to relearn what it's like to start off from level 1. But for today's video, I'd like to compare the Cyclone versus the Cloudliner. Let's get into it. So at first glance, you would think the Cloudliner would win this head-to-head -head battle. But after playing with a fleet of 19 Cloudliners and 33 Cyclones, there are some details that need to be considered. One of the most important details is price. Bucks are one of the most precious commodities in the game. In order to buy a Cloudliner from the marketplace, it'll cost 435 bucks versus 262 for a Cyclone. Is one Cloudliner worth the extra 173 bucks? Let's get into the stats of these two planes so we can compare. As you can see, the Cloudliner easily beats the Cyclone in all three categories of capacity, range, and speed. When we go into the logs, you'll also see the profit per hour of my Cloudliners again beat the Cyclone by more than $4,000 per hour not looking good for the Cyclone. Now let's take a look at what the extra range on the Cloudliner looks like in-game. A flight going from Seoul to Chicago with the Cyclone would have to go through Istanbul and then to New York City before making it into Chicago. That same flight with the Cloudliner would be able to bypass the stop in New York and go straight into Chicago, saving time and money with a more straight line flight path. Another similar flight from Seoul to London tells the same story. The extra range on the Cloudliner allows it to make a direct flight to London without having to stop in Istanbul. So at this point, it's not looking good for the Cyclone at all. Why even make this video? Well, one thing we haven't looked into is the actual gameplay of trying to fill up such a large capacity plane like the Cloudliner. During the regular game sessions, I'm often finding that it takes multiple 4 minute cycles to fill up the Cloudliner, even with laid over passengers already waiting in the city. From a profit perspective, a plane that's sitting at an airport isn't making money, and from a gameplay perspective, it gets frustrating to have to keep waiting for new passengers every 4 minutes in order to get a plane filled and on to its next destination. On the other hand, I found that the 6 passenger, 6 cargo Cyclone is almost the perfect size to get in and out of an airport quickly. Oftentimes, I'll be able to find a mix of new passengers and laid over passengers immediately without having to wait for the timer to reset for new passengers. This allows me to get the Cyclone back up into the air and making money. I found that this kind of efficiency is more rewarding for my style of gameplay. I just find it more fun to quickly load up a Cyclone and go without having to wait around. This gets us into a larger theme of finding planes and gameplay that makes it fun for you. Pocket Planes is diverse and deep enough of a game to allow different ways of having fun. I encourage you to find out what makes the game most fun for you and keep at it. Let me know down in the comments what's your favorite plane to use. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.